Hey friends, it's me Stace. Today we're using our Cricut to make this really cute and very simple card. Here's the envelope. We did use the marker on the outside. The envelope has a liner. Then the inside is just a little 4x4 present card. There's the outside. On the inside I, I added a pocket so you're able to put a gift card in there and give the card as well as a gift card to somebody. I just go to the computer and we'll get started. Here we are at the computer. I'm already logged into Cricut Design Space. I am also on the welcome screen. From here, we're going to go right below where it says recommended for you and click on holiday and then click on holiday cards and then scroll down. You want to go to the Christmas cards category, go to the far right and click on where it says see more. In the search box at the very top, we're going to type in present card and then click on enter. And the card we are making is this one here, the Christmas present card. Go to click on that very bottom and click on customize. We are going to customize this card a little bit. All right, so we have the envelope and this piece here, this yellow piece is your pattern paper. So if we go to the very top where it says Christmas present card, you'll see that preview window. They're, they're using a liner right there. That's what that yellow piece is. All right, then we have the card base, which is this piece here. This measures eight by four. So when folded, our card will be four by four. I'm gonna cut this white, this base piece out in white cardstock. So I'm gonna go to my left hand side toolbar and click on shapes. I'm gonna make a mat for the inside of my card. So I'm gonna click on a square. Now I'm going to change the size of this. You're the very top tool. I'm leaving the lock locked and changing the width to be 3.75 by 3.75 or 3 and 3 quarter by 3 and 3 quarter. I'm going to change the color and make this be the same color. I'm going to cut my bow out for the front. So the very top, I'm going to click on the color and change that to be blue. That'll be for the inside of my card. Left hand side toolbar again. I'm going to click on shapes, also the same square. I do want to change the color. I'll make this one be white. I also want to resize it. And this time I will unlock the lock. I'm making the width be 3.75 or 3 and 3 quarter. The height is going to be 1.5 or 1 and 1 half. And that's going to go there. So what I want to do here, since I'm using blue for my mat on the inside, it's really hard to write on that so I can write my greeting on here. I can also make this piece a pocket to hold a gift card. Okay, because I thought that would look kind of funny because, or look kind of nice because we have the bow here. So the, the bow will go on the outside, gift cards on the inside. And right, now we have this little tag. I'm going to right click on this and choose duplicates. Now I have two of them. So if I click on this and go to my right hand side layers panel, we will see we have the two objects here. I'm going to click on the text. If you go to the upper left hand corner, you will see the operation type is set to pen. I'm going to change that color and make it be a raspberry color. Okay, I'm also I'm gonna delete this one, delete it, and then just duplicate this one. Okay, so now I have two. So I'm gonna use one of them for the tag of my card, and then this one I'm gonna use for the envelope. So what I wanna do here is detach it, and then remove the circle, and just have the text. I'm gonna make it be a little bigger. Now the envelope is four by four. It's pretty universal um, as far as what side is the top, um, top flap. We can put this anywhere. So what I wanna do is bring this down, so I want to put my Merry Christmas greeting on the outside flap of my envelope. Okay, this way I can have the whole inside area of my envelope to be for the to and from or the address. So I'm going to leave that there. So what I want to do is maybe make it be a little bit smaller. And I want to center this. So I'm going to click on the text, hold down shift on my keyboard, click on the envelope, go to the top toolbar, and we're going to click a line. And we're going to do the second one down, center horizontally, so it'll center it left and right. So if I click on that, you'll see my Merry Christmas move. Okay, I know it's centered. I'm going to highlight both of those pieces, right click on that, and then choose Attach. So this is going to use the, it's going to score my cardstock, it's going to cut my cardstock, and it's also going to draw with the pen the Merry Christmas there. Okay, so now this piece here, because it's 8 by 4 we can use our trimmer to cut that piece out, so I'll delete that piece. This one is three and three quarter. I can use my trimmer to cut that piece out as well as this piece here. All right, let's go to the very top and click on make it. So we have the envelope here. You will need a like a 10 by 10 piece of um, paper to cut your envelope out. I'm going to move my tag over here. So I save paper. Mat number two is our um, flat for pattern paper. Mat number three is our blue or whatever color you want to use for your bow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on continue, plug my maker in cut everything out to the table and we'll put the card together. All right, everything is cut out. So I have the pieces that I cut with my trimmer. So this is the card base, four by eight, and we scored that at four inches. 
take your bone folder and give it a nice crease. Then we have the piece for the inside. This was three and three quarter by three and three quarter. The white piece to go on top is one and a half by three and three quarter. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my glue. I'm using my art glitter glue. And you do wanna use a liquid glue here and just put a really thin line on, let me try this one, a thin line, there we go, along the sides, as close to this edge as possible, and also on the bottom. And then we're gonna line that up on our green piece here, edge to edge, and that's gonna hold our gift card. Okay, we'll let that kind of set up. Take my ATG. Put this on the inside. Of course, the gift card pocket is optional. I just thought, you know, it was a present on the front, so look cute on the inside. All right, so there's the inside of there. All right, now we have these pieces here. So what I'm going to do is lay this on there first. Again, take your glue, thin line. Lay this on the center. Like that. If you have any extra hanging over on the side, just go ahead and flip it over and cut off that little piece right there. Okay, now we have the bow. I do want to pop the bow up so I have some foam squares over here. I'm going to do one right in the middle. I'm actually going to cut, actually I'm not going to cut it, I think I can do it. Okay, and I'm going to do maybe another one down here on the tails. Okay, I'm going to flip it over, I do see a little bit right there. So I'm actually going to cut my foam square a little bit, just so you don't see it from that side. Okay, I think we're good there. And I'm gonna move this one down. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give all these, well, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna take my tag, and I do have some white twine here. I fold it in half, created a loop, put the loop through, and then put that through like that. And what I'm going to do is, try, I'm not going to trim this down yet, I'm going to put the bow on there, and I'm going to have it also hold my tag. So I'm just going to put my tag here. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive. Okay, and then put that right there. And I'm going to trim off the extra of my twine, so you only need like a little, little bit of twine. So I'm putting that in that glue, then take the backing off our foam squares, and that's going to hide that raw edge of the twine. Okay. Just going to put that there like that. And we're still able to move our tag around. Okay, so there's the front of the card. Super, super simple. And now we have the envelope. I'm gonna scroll that. And our Merry Christmas that we added right there. All right, it's gonna take this and I'm gonna put some glue just on this part. I'm gonna go up the sides. Does it go all the way to the top? Yeah, all the way around the edge. Okay, we're just gonna bring that up, let that sit for a minute, and do its thing. And then we're gonna put our liner piece on the inside right here. I think, yeah, I'll use my wet glue. So you can easily uh, switch this card up for birthday, anniversary, whatever occasion you want. Just change the text on the tag. 
right, so we have that, and then look at that. Close it, it says Merry Christmas. Right, let's go ahead and see if this fits in here. I have a faux square. All right, I always put the side with the dimension facing down, and it fits in there nicely. Now let's try our gift card pocket on the inside. Um, yep, and that, fit, that fits in there just perfect. So how cute would that be to give to somebody? Right, just a really simple, plain little card. You can, of course, jazz this up. You can put, you can use um, an embossing fold in the back to emboss the four by four area of the front of the card. You can use a glitter card stock for the front. I just kept it pretty simple, but I do love the idea that you are able to hold a gift card in there. And again, it fits inside your envelope along with your greeting there. And I do have a card kit. So the card kit's here. I do include the twine and the paper that I, um, cut. So to win the card kit, go to my website. I will have it listed below, the direct blog link. Uh, go there, leave me a comment. The first one that leaves a comment, I'll be the winner of the card kit. All right, my friends, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.